How does one generate so much trash? I think I showed you guys the uh, completed coop from my short that I had. Uh, well, it's not the prettiest thing right now because they've been using it, but... Oh, hello. I guess they like it. Nice little nesting box. Here she is. They like it. Kept them warm in the cold, keeps them dry in the rain. Hi Jeanette, you wanna come out? You just wanna bite me. You wanna bite me, don't you? Yeah, you wanna bite me. Come out. Oh, no, please don't bite me. Please don't bite me. Yeah, you're gonna bite me. What did I do to you this morning? Why do you want to bite me? Everybody's on break time. With treats. Yep. Everybody take a nap. What are you doing in there, Elvis? What are you doing? Stock footage. Well, good afternoon again. Welcome to the rescue. I'm here with my older birds, the ladies who aren't laying so much. They're kind of, you know, past three or four years of age, so they don't lay every day. I mean, it's fall slash winter, so they don't lay much anyway, but these girls are past their laying prime, so. They're just here to kind of chill and eat food and be sweet and enjoy the rest of their days. We have this rooster, this guy right here. His name's Elvis. Uh, he is a Favarole. You can look at his beautiful feathers. He is a big, beautiful, pretty boy. So Elvis watches over our older ladies, make sure that they are kept safe. He's about two, two and a half years of age. He does a great job of making sure the girls are safe and comfortable having a, a man in the house. He's very friendly, very docile. He's not a mean rooster at all. So today's kind of a special day. We're actually looking forward to rescuing a pup. He's a uh, two-year-old Brittany Spaniel that uh, has a broken leg that we're going to be taking in and bringing up to another rescue to get him medical aid. We aren't able to take in any more dogs. We're pretty much maxed out for the space we have. Hopefully this year we'll be able to take in more if we're able to build more. But for right now, six is our max. If we take in any more than that, we risk not being able to give good aid and not being able to care for the animals. I've been asked why we don't just take in everybody that is given to us and the main reason behind that is we have to be selective for the health of the animals we've got you know older animals like these girls and these birds and we've got some younger animals we've got breeds that don't mix and match with each other and of course dogs look at a lot of other animals as prey and so if we take in more animals than we're able to uh, care for and protect and provide medical aid to uh, we run the risk of the animals fighting with each other, hurting each other, or even killing each other. And that's something that's happened with different fosters, that's happened with different rescues where they escape their pens or their pens aren't built good enough or they're not able to do repairs on their pens. You see here, we're constantly having to do repairs. So anyways, back to the Brittany Spaniel. I'm waiting for a phone call today. Uh, he, uh, he's getting a freedom ride from a friend of ours and uh, we'll be taking him in and I will go ahead and put some footage together of that here in a minute. Well, to you guys, it'll just be a second. 
waiting because of stitching. But uh, for me, it's going to be a lot of waiting today. Um, he's a beautiful boy, and I can't wait to show you guys some uh, pictures of him and some footage of him. And uh, hopefully that's going to go without any problems. Let's go ahead and uh, fast forward to that. Oh boy, did you find acorns? Find an acorn? Hi, Marshmallow. You happen to uh, slim eat acorns? Did you find some? Here, here's some acorns, right here. Oh yeah, that's that good stuff. Let's make one. Oh, he's so good. <sighs> Hi, big boy. <laughs> Come on, let everybody eat. Hungry birds. Well, here he is. This is Bo, huh? Hi, Bo. You're beautiful, boy. Hi. We're going to get you out of that cage and get a good look at you. Take a look at that leg. It's that one right there. You can kind of see the swelling on it. Oh, yeah. We're going to get you taken care of, buddy. Hey, Bo. Look at that coloration. Go on, buddy. Careful. Careful. We don't want to hurt that leg any more than it is. You can see here, he's got a pretty, pretty bad break on that back leg. But we're going to get you fixed up. We are teaming up with uh, Brittany Rescue in Texas, uh, BRIT. They are a rescue that specializes in Brittany Spaniels. We're going to get you taken care of, move to a place where we can get you fixed. But for the meanwhile, you're going to stay with us. All right, Bo? Look at those colors. Beautiful boy. How you doing, bud? So it's getting a little late. You can see the sun has set quite a bit. I've got Bo here. Um, we've got his pen set up. we got a little warm spot he's going to be spending the night. We're going to watch him. You can see he's a little nervous, but he's warmed up quite a bit to me. He's very sweet, but he's going to stay with us for a couple of days, and then he's going to go to Brittany Rescue up in Fort Worth. Um, I'm meeting someone in Waco, and they specialize uh, uh, with dogs like this, and they're going to get him the help that he needs because we are full up on dogs. So, Bo... Welcome to our home. We're going to get you taken care of. And uh, say hi to everybody on YouTube. Y'all have a good one. Hi, Bo. Yeah, we got you in a little cage with a blankie. An old girl rebel saying hi. That's right. Rebels are geriatric dog. She greets everybody when they come out here. We got wagon tails. Wagon tails. Everything's good. Ready to go to bed, Bo? Okay. Good night, pup.